Good morning. It's bright and early. I just wanted to show you something real quick. This is uh, our makeshift. This is the only way we can wash Lily's bottles. David had to go get some uh, dish soap just so we could wash her bottles. Luckily, she's not an infant and they don't have to be sterilized, but we do wash them in really, really hot water. And Susan, this is for you. I think about you every morning when I'm getting ready because over here, they don't have outlets in the bathroom. So, first of all, I have to dry my hair with this and it takes 15 minutes or longer because it barely blows any air. And the reason I think about you when I'm getting ready is the only way I can get ready, curl my hair, is I have to go over here, find a plug, set up a little mirror to curl my hair, which reminds me of the way you get ready at work in the morning with a teeny tiny mirror at your desk. Don't Say, we're about to go eat. We're hungry. Say bye-bye. 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 Bless Whoa, bless you. Well, there's Julie and Lily. They're hanging out. Where are we hanging out? We're hanging outside of uh, the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial. Uh, it's, it's kind of a Tiananmen Square type of uh, plaza. And uh, everything's got symbolism in it. And they're honoring the late president, uh, Chiang Kai-shek. Uh, I need to go Wikipedia him. I don't know a whole lot to tell you about that. But there is this absolutely gorgeous and uh, there's some changing of the guards. Uh, maybe we can catch that on video, but we're gonna cross over and go and check it out. Hey, Lily. So what do you think of this area, Julie? really nice. People are very friendly. It's just really hot. It's, being here is almost like being in Texas because one day it's freezing and raining and cold. And like today, I could probably have on shorts and a t-shirt, but you just never know. But people are very nice and we've met people who speak enough English to help us with pictures and stuff. But we're just bringing Lily out here to show her a little bit of her history. She likes to look at the birds. This is huge. Huge piece of real estate. Which is very cool because in this city everything is very crowded and on top of each other like in New York. Yet here they've reserved this chunk of real estate uh, as a memorial park. Okay, now we got our bearings. That is the National Concert Hall and the Recital Hall right there. So a lot of probably uh, everything from professional opera and and uh, orchestras to uh, possibly college and high school uh, competition. Over here is the uh, National Theater. It's housed there. You see how big these things are. There's Julie in the shot. And just the artwork. They say that every, every nook and cranny of this place has symbolism. And I'm not sure what it means. Very beautiful. Well, I think there's too much excitement for one day. Lily is passed out. We're walking back to the hotel. Yeah. And I need to pass out. Yeah, we're all gonna pass out. I'm having a hard time sleeping. And it's not because of Lily. She actually sleeps. She only woke up once last night. 
Well, we're on the other side of the world, so totally different time zone. She said, I own this place. Oh, yeah, she's watching the Mickey Mouse Club. She's over there bossing daddy around. They don't know what they're saying, but she likes it. That's funny. <gasps> Say bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do your tummy. I can't get to her tummy. She getting tired. Oh, she's getting tired again. I'll tell you what, this girl likes to sleep, and I kind of like that. That's a nice change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a girl. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We love you, Lily. She waving with her feet. Oh, we can't do that. <laughs> Your mama's in her drawer, so we can't... It's hot. We can't, we can't show it. <laughs> Sophie, look what they have over here. Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb, and it's in Chinese. Where's Phineas and Ferb? There they are. Hey, look, splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Long about the Saturday night. Woo! There you go, baby. She loves bath time. She just starts splashing everywhere. Give mom a kiss. Mm. Parent. Mm. Oh, that's oh, oh, oh. a good kiss. You gonna pick she, my nose? No, now? she's honking it. You're supposed to honk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lily Grace is eating some dinner. She's eating some rice porridge. We had room service bring us. I think it's just it's whatever she was eating, she eats in the mornings. So she loves the stuff though. But uh, Julie and I have found, you can see over here in our mess, Subway. Yes. And it tastes pretty good. It tastes almost like home. Some weird twang to it, but I'll take it over squid right now. Uh -huh. Okay, so I I grabbed these thinking uh, there would be sour cream and onion for Julie, and it's actually uh, you can see it's actually Kyushu seaweed flavor. So I had to sacrifice my Doritos, which it's golden cheese flavored Doritos. So I'm actually going to try the seaweed flavor ones. See how it is. Well, I just tried it. It tastes like seaweed, yep. Uh -huh. Hey. Lays, I don't know what you were thinking. You know, when I'm kicking back watching a football game, and I think, you know, I could go for some chips, nowhere in the back of my mind do I ever say, ooh, yeah, seaweed would go great with this. So, whoop. So anyways, 